Hey guys, what's up? I'm Ryan uh, Williamson, engineering major from uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Um, the vlog I did was on uh, on body image, looking in the mirror. Um, see, uh, bef the first thing we did at the blog was uh, we went over some of the ground rules. Obviously, there be some. Uh, our primary our primary goal in this blog was to learn more, of, more about each other and put aside all our differences first off, which was which great. That's what that's what we stressed within the blog. Um, no, ra that means no racism, sexism, classism, heterosexism, and all discriminations. Um, we don't need to blame others for our shortcomings. Uh, in other words, we need to keep open minds and everything. And um, Okay, so kind of the gist of what we talked about before I get started on everything else. Um, okay, when we talk about body image, body image is the first is the first thing we notice about somebody. It's the first it's the our first judgment, and it's up to us to get over our first judgment, no matter what it is, and to become into into desire this deep friendship within somebody uh, that that could be found by getting to know them, so you would have to get past your first impression. First impression, you know, you never judge a book by its cover. It's the main thing we got here. All right, and I just want to say, uh, for one of the first things we did was we watched a video uh, on uh, Ted, and there's this, uh, there's this woman in this video, um, she was talking about uh, vulnerability. It's the one thing, we have to, in order to accept others' vulnerability, we must first look at ours. In other words, like, we have to accept our weaknesses. And also, that's, that's part of being wholehearted. Everyone must be wholehearted in order to get across the vulnerability, all your weaknesses, accept them all, in order to accept other people for who they are by getting by, of course, the first impression, judging book by its cover, like, we... All humans do that naturally, but we must get by that in order to make friends, you know, etc. And that's what we're doing at Clemson. That's what Clemson brings all of us together. Cause so we already have something in common with everybody. But thing is, everybody in Clemson is different. That's why universities want to be diverse. And so it's up to the students to make the college what it is by accepting each other's diversities and becoming one big network. And it's great. You can use it throughout life. You make your best friend in college. It's great. Okay. And that was that was one of the things she talked about. Um, all right. And also, I guess some of the topics that came up were uh, stereotypes. We have to get we have to get over stereotypes. We can't be stereotypical people. We can't we have to it's almost as if we have to get over our own judgments of ourselves before we can judge others on who they are, what they might be. You know, you have to you have to look past that. You have to look past differences and instead look to the similarities. Cuz there's lots of different people out there that will be living totally different lives. They look totally different from you. They think and everything totally different, but they could one day be your best friends. Opposites they say attract. So, you know, it's great to have some similarities. It's great to find the similarities instead of looking at the differences, is what we're saying here. And it, it appears that differences and similarities first come from physical appearance. You can't judge somebody right off the bat without getting to know them, because then you would not be friends with anybody if you just lived off first impressions. Okay. All right, now as for the questions that we're supposed to answer here. Um, all right. Uh, who are the active voices in our uh, in our seminar in our new student dialogue? And there were there were it's as you would expect. There were a couple of people. Actually, they were there was a couple of girls that would talk about. Oh yes, I know. I've been judged before. I've had trust issues before. Here they are, and they will open up. It's and that's exactly what the listeners, I was a reserve voice, so I'm, I'm a better listener than a talker, so I enjoyed listening to their stories, and I realized that there's some people living incredibly different lives out there, even though Clemson brings us all together, and instead of noticing their 
differences which you might not notice off the bat you can look wow this is similarity like this is desirable that'd be they live an awesome life maybe I should try to be more like them maybe I should be outspoken and look past the differences so I could really become great friends with them all right so I was reserve boy reserve voice because I enjoy listening to other people and soaking it all in before I talk I'm I'm the kind of person that would like to get to know somebody before I start talking a lot so the seminar this uh, new student dialogue setting wasn't the best thing for me, but I still introduce myself to people, and I, and I enjoy talking to people who I could, instead of looking at our differences, I could see through the differences into similarities. All right, um, as for why, why, why did we do, why does Clemson do these new student dialogues? Is it useful? Okay, um, well, uh, new student dialogues is just, it's a great way to meet people. It's instead of a debate or just a plain discussion where you're sharing thoughts and feelings and meaningful things, it could also grow to mean something to somebody else. Like somebody else could find, oh wow, that's a great life lesson. I learned a lot from this. It's basically a learning opportunity. It's broadening our horizons as college students. And uh, yes, that can be very useful because you, you can develop connections there that you can say anything you want, so you can develop connections that can be made for the rest of our lives. You could realize it makes you more open-minded, especially this one, because we need to throw away all our differences, look at our similarities and say, okay, this is what we got, this is what I have to look past, and this is how I make friends for the rest of my life. That's This is how I'm going to be successful in my career. Clemson is trying to make us be successful, not just through academics, but through making these, developing these connections and making us more open-minded for the rest of our life. All right, and um, that's that's really why we had them. That's really all I have to say. Uh, thank you guys for listening. I hope you have an awesome day. See ya.